Hey guys, Ivan here with another video for the day and I had to make another one because this can't wait. Tomorrow we're gonna see Rubial Mosquera and Exila on that stage, on Dubai Pro stage, but one day out we actually got a physique update, it leaked out somehow. I have no idea who the hell posted this, it's not on Rubial's page, it's not on Brion's page, it's not on Chris Cormier's page, Dubai Pro stage, Oxygen Gym page, it's basically nowhere to be found, somebody took this photo and leaked it and sent it to a couple of uh, Instagram pages that are about bodybuilding news. So for example this one who is the best bodybuilder got this photo, there are some others who put their tag on the photo, so somebody took this photo and sent it all around and it's on IG right now and it's going viral, everybody is sharing it, everybody is talking about it and I don't think Rubiel is very happy that this photo got out, I don't think he wanted it. It to be posted but it's there and we gotta talk about it now now if you're wondering could this be older photo from I don't know weeks ago or from last year it's not because a couple of hours ago Brion posted a photo in the same gym but as you can see he did some editing so his conditioning looks better and right there in the background you can see somebody hiding somebody in black bodybuilding trunks with huge freaking legs who could it be yeah it's Rubiel so this photo is recent it is from today from actually an hour ago and this is what Rubiel looks like, we also got a back photo as well, we're gonna see that in a second but first let's check out the most muscular, let's see what Rubiel is bringing, what his conditioning is gonna look like because that was the biggest question, we all saw that he made improvements uh, size wise, especially in his upper body and you can see it as well here, he definitely did progress, his upper body is bigger, significantly better than last year what about conditioning? Well, it's not looking that great. Let's be real here, guys. It's definitely not phenomenal. This is not even close to Nathan Diasha or William Bonek or Bekrus Tabani kind of conditioning. This is, for them, this is like four weeks out or even more, maybe even six weeks out. But then again, this photo is not edited at all. And as you can see, when Brion takes the photo, when he finds a good lighting and does some editing, his conditioning actually looks good. And you saw physique updates from Brion. He is shredded. He's very lean. And here next to Nexilla, his conditioning also doesn't look that great. So I think Nexilla's conditioning is not as bad as it seems in this photo. But I also don't think it's great. I don't think it's phenomenal. No, no, no. It definitely doesn't look very good. So the separation in the quads especially, it's very shallow, it's very very shallow, the other guys have much deeper separation, much deeper cuts, more details, they are definitely a lot harder, a lot drier, and it seems like Nixilla is holding a lot of, I don't know what, water or body fat, I'm not sure, but he's holding something, this is not, this is not great conditioning right here. Alright, now let's check out the other photo from the back and uh, he is completely dwarfing Brion Ainsley. I guess any pro bodybuilder would dwarf a classy guy, but not this much, it wouldn't be this bad. Exila looks like a freaking, I don't know, like, like a freaking mutant, like he's not even human, honestly. This is insane how big he is. But conditioning wise, once again, from the back it's probably even worse than from the front, from the front he has at least some chest separation and so on, but from the back, like glute conditioning, this is, this is not very good guys, it's for one day out, I mean this should be ripped to shreds right now, this should be carved out, and it's not, it's not even dry, it looks like he's holding, I don't know what, water or he's just not lean enough, look at the hamstrings, can you see them? Because I cannot, I mean there is a separation between the quads and the hamstrings and that's it, that's all, there is no hamstring separation, the hamstrings are definitely not conditioned enough, neither are the glutes, this is okay for the off season but guys, Rubiel is one day out, one day out, how much drier can he get? I mean, is this really water holding issue? 
If it really is, they could probably dehydrate him severely overnight, and he can probably lose a lot of that water, but I don't think that's just it. I think he just didn't lean out enough. I don't think he's ready for the stage. Based on what I'm seeing right here, I can't see him winning. I mean, he's looking enormously big. He's looking crazy, crazy, crazy massive. It, it's ridiculous. Look at the freaking, look at the freaking calves, man. And like the legs, the back, everything is just popping out. It's just such a shame that we won't see this guy in his best conditioning. I mean, look at the, look at the shoulders also, like the rear delts. It's all round and smooth. There is no separation anywhere. I mean, this is like eight, six weeks out conditioning. I would be generous if I said four weeks out. I don't think this is four weeks out. Best case scenario, this is six weeks out conditioning. So, no, no, it looks like he did not get lean enough. What the hell is going on with these guys? I mean, first Hassan, now Rubio. I mean, missing the mark this bad? Is it really gonna be this bad on the stage? Could it be just bad lighting, bad angle? Maybe once he dehydrates overnight and maybe finds better lighting and puts the tan on and the oil and pumps up, maybe he's gonna look clean enough? Is that possible? He most certainly won't look shredded on the stage, but actually he might be lean enough and he doesn't need to be super peeled. With his mass he can still do very well if his conditioning is just okay. So this is the photo last year after he won his pro card. So as you can see right here, off the stage, he didn't really look that peeled, right? I mean, yeah, he had some vascularity going on in the quads, but no separation, not really. Chest also not super separated. I mean, the abs kind of looked uh, washed up. But on stage, you know what he looked like. I mean, he wasn't the most conditioned guy on that stage, but it was enough to crack the top three, to beat Nate and the Asha. Look at his conditioning here, like, look at the glutes. Those glutes are definitely not ripped to shreds. Uh, check out the hamstrings. Yeah, more separated than uh, right now in that photo, but uh, this is on stage. This is after completing the dehydration protocol and under some good lighting and with some oil as well. So he looks more conditioned. I'm sure he looked uh, way less conditioned the day before this stage. So if you compare these two photos, I mean, it can't be that big of a difference. I mean, he wasn't ripped to shreds last year, and he is not shredded this year. I was hoping he might bring better conditioning, but no, no, it's gonna be most likely a little bit worse. Best case scenario, if he manages to dry out throughout the night... Because right now he's probably in bed sleeping. It's uh, 1 p.m. right now while I'm making this video. And it's probably going to be like 2 p.m. in Dubai by the time you guys are watching this video. So I don't know if he even saw this photo leaked out. Hopefully he didn't. Hopefully he didn't stress himself out because he's receiving a lot of criticism right now. People are not happy with this look. So if he dries out throughout the night, if he does something drastic and actually hydrates a lot and doesn't lose the fullness and actually shows up this freaking massive with improvements he made, I don't know, can he still beat those guys who are way more conditioned than him? I mean, Nathan is really dry, really hard right now. Bakru Stabani, let's not even talk about his conditioning, he is rock hard. William Bonak as well, super detailed, super shredded, super lean and dry and everything. And then we have Nixilla, bigger than all of them. He's gonna smoke them all with his size, especially with the legs. None of these three guys have great legs, none of them. He's gonna smoke them size-wise, especially leg size-wise, but upper body as well. But is conditioning gonna be good enough? It's not gonna be great conditioning, that's for sure. I don't, I don't know how much can he dehydrate, but it's still not gonna be great conditioning. It's gonna be, best case scenario, decent conditioning. You know, it's not gonna be great. And uh, sometimes, like, guys like Samson Daura can get away with not exactly the best conditioning because they have size and because they have shape. Now, Nexilla doesn't have the best shape, but he has the most size. He has more size than anybody. And he has round muscle bellies. He has a lot of roundness, a lot of fullness. 
freaky, freaky looking quads, freaky looking physique entirely. So maybe he gets away with this kind of conditioning, with the lack of conditioning, because he's so impressive in all the other regards. But I don't know. I don't know, man. This looks, at least here right now, this doesn't look very good. It doesn't look promising. It's very possible that he's gonna be like fourth or even lower than that. But then there is also the possibility that uh, these photos are not doing him justice, that they're not exactly showing the realistic conditioning he's in, and that uh, he's gonna dry out overnight a little bit more, and that he's gonna be ready tomorrow for stage. It's not very likely, but it's a possibility as well, if you ask me. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below, where do you think Nexilla will place now after seeing this physique update? Make sure to comment down below, and if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more coverage like this tomorrow and the days after, just click that subscribe button, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon, guys. See you tomorrow after the Dubai Pro Prejudging, or maybe even sooner if something else interesting happens like this. I don't know. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best, and bye-bye.